pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. I haven't let go. That's the first time I've let go of it since last <laughs> really? night. Did yeah. you sleep with it last night? Yeah, I was. I went to the bathroom once, and I said, I've. To my friend Anthony, who also won, I said, I've always wanted to say this, will you watch my Oscar while I go to the toilet? <laughs> so, it sounds so embarrassing, but no, it's very exciting. It's amazing. I mean, so what, what does that mean to you to get an Oscar? I think it's so wild because I guess making music Grammy is a sort of epitome of what you shoot for. So this is so much from another universe. Oh, look at him, he's so pretty. I... <laughs> oh, sorry. He really um, is. But, um, and so it's just, it's just like another level. And what that song, I've worked with Lady Gaga before on Joanne, and we went and wrote this song. When I first saw the trailer for Star is Born and the way that it, they made the song seem so exciting, and then when I saw the film and the way they make that scene in the parking lot, I was like, wow, they're really going to give this song a chance to get into people's hearts because right. this movie's so great. Yeah. And so how long did it take you to write that song? It was. It wasn't. It was probably like a couple of days. I think we had the the first part. She had this idea for the chorus. She sat down at the piano, and she said, like, she's kind of pits a few chords, and she's like, I'm off the deep end or something. And then we're all, you know, hit the ground running. She, she, she's super fast. And then I think we got the in the shallow part a little later because mm -hmm. I love her songs like Bad Romance and how she's always like the ra ra, you know, the kind yeah. of wild Gaga thing that she does. So I said, like, we should do something a little weird. I know this is for this film, and it's like a ballad, but, like, do your weird Gaga thing. So she took the shallow part, and then yeah. she made the in the shallow, la, la, la. I can't even do it, but, uh, yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Well, you're probably tired. <laughs> yeah. Did you go to that party, too? I did, went. Did you go to guys? I went to that party for a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's like the Super Bowl of famous people. It's it, too much. It's crazy. Oh, you didn't stay long? Well, I just get, like, so, I mean, it's so exciting to see all those people, but, like, I'm used to seeing music people. Like, I walked in, and I think I know Giselle a little bit from my days of, like, DJing in New York nightclubs. And she's like, hi, Mark, do you know my husband, Tom? I'm like, Tom Brady, like, what the hell? And, yeah. then, <laughs> and then, like, and then same thing, actually, because I used to DJ in hip-hop clubs in New York for, you know, in my 20s. So I remember J-Lo from when she'd come to the clubs, and she's like, did you, did you know my boyfriend or husband, A-Rod? I'm like, these, these are people I've only ever seen on TV. It's nuts. So <laughs> I can't believe I'm... It, it's pretty wild. Yeah, well, it's, uh, you, you belong in that room. You are one of those people. And uh, so the, the performance last night I thought was amazing with Bradley and yeah. Gaga and the way... Whose idea was that, that to push out the, the piano and then come from the audience? I think it was Bradley's idea. I think he had a specific vision. I heard... Lady Gaga talking about it. So, like, I think it was his thing. And I think that's probably might be the only time they ever performed that song together. So it made it feel really special. It was so cool that they just walked from the audience. And then for Bradley, who's not a singer, to yes. just sit down and sound that good and be, he didn't even seem nervous. Was he nervous? No, I don't, I don't know. I mean, afterwards, I went up to him and I was like, you killed it. And he was like, really? And I was like, how could you not know? But yeah. I think that, yeah, he had. I think he's not a singer, so it was so brave of him to go yeah. and do that. Yeah, it's a surprise for all of us, because he's a great guy and a great actor, but for him to, to sound this good, too. I texted you uh, last night, uh, right after you won, yeah. and I said, please come on the show. And yeah. I didn't think you would, because I thought you'd be exhausted. So, And I know you are exhausted, so thank you for, for coming on the show. I just I just think you're so amazing and so awesome. You, um, you have... Uh, you're, you have a project coming out. You have a solo album coming out. Yes, I do. When? Um, it's coming out in... I think it's going to be out in May. It's with. Uh, it's called Late Night Feelings, is the album. And uh, the first single is with Miley Cyrus, Nothing Breaks Like a Heart, that we performed here. Right. And, uh, yeah, I'm just... I love it. It's a fun dance record that you can cry I can't to. wait. Yes. I can't wait. I work out... He made me a, a, a couple of CDs, and I work out to that one that starts with Nothing Breaks Like a Heart every single day. Awesome. Make me another one. I will. OK. Um, go to Spotify to hear more music from Mark Ronson. Uh, congratulations. You're awesome. Thanks so we'll much. We'll be back.